Before I start a new recording, I always give feedback as to what I have recorded during the previous recording. In this way, those on the other side know exactly what I have managed to pick up from them. One morning I am doing this, and as I start to speak to Stahi, a loud, partly monotone voice breaks in and says, Now hear this one, we love. Uh, Stahi, when I asked if he were standing by, I seemed to get back in a loud whisper. Stahi, when I asked if he were standing by, I seemed to get back in a loud whisper. Stahi, when I asked if he were standing by, I seemed to get back in a loud whisper. Someone asked me one morning in a loud, uneven voice of unusual quality, where I am. Otto is an unknown entity who has spoken to me several times. One day I asked Otto if he is happy in the spirit world. There are unusual background audio sounds which he seems to use to help him speak. He replies, joyous with my friend, happy. During the first recording one morning, someone indicates that it is now time to talk to me by saying, work out with Sarah. This next segment is another example of those on the other side using words with which we are unfamiliar. I have asked them to please try to get someone who can answer my questions about higher realms of consciousness in the spirit world. A loud voice sounding nearby asked, This weary, have you gotten him? <laughs> March 16th, we again had a second experiment, taking spirit photographs. I had told those on the other side uh, that we would try to do this, and they had assured me that they would be present. Nancy Stallings again acted as medium with her husband Ron and friend Kevin Mack as photographers. In this first segment, I have just asked Stahi my head monitor on the other side, if he could come. He replies, that's it, turn right. inviting those on the other side to come close during the photography session. Someone says, we are back. 100 men. Please come close, friends. hear the sound of camera equipment when I ask Otto if he would like to come through. Someone replies, he's here. He's beyond me there. Otto, would you like to come through this evening? Thank you. 
In this segment, you will hear the buzz one of the cameras makes as it takes a picture. A paranormal male voice says, Camera, we can on that. message that was recorded near the end of the photography session was a voice which said, I can't stay on here. You will hear me say that I will try to come back in the evenings to talk to them. A voice which sounds very much like Stahi's, my head monitor, breaks in as I am talking and says, We will look up you for that. I will try to come back. As I said last evening, I did ask her if you would like me to try to come back in the evenings as much as possible like I used to do. And I have signed off and someone sings to me, come back. The evening of May the 2nd, I learned that my aunt, who had been ill with cancer for the last five years, had entered the hospital and was not expected to live for more than a few days. Those who are dying frequently report seeing a takeaway figure who comes to help them on their way. This evidently is Aunt Jane's experience. For on the morning of May 5th, you will hear me ask if I have friends present. A male voice sounding nearby says, I visited with Jane. Good morning, friends. This is May 5th. And the time is 8.30 a.m. Sarah Easton is recording. Do I have any of my friends here this morning? Thank you. second recording, the morning of May 5th, you will hear me refer back to their previous message in which someone says that they have visited with Jane. I ask if she knew they were with her. The answer which comes suggests that while Jane may not have seen her visitors clearly, she saw the outline of them. The reply, yes, comes back two times. And the second time, someone adds, she outlined. Please tell me, when you visited Jane, did she realize that you were there? Thank you. May 5th, about 12 hours after her takeaway visitors, said that she had seen the outline of them. The following day, almost 24 hours later, I made one recording before leaving for her home. You will hear me ask if she has entered the spirit world yet. I felt a great deal of joy when Jane herself answered in a strong voice with rhythm, This is Jane. 
Please tell me if she has entered the spirit world yet. Thank you. Returning from the funeral, I ask if my aunt is standing by. The clear answer is every day. Aunt Jane has spoken to me many times since her death in May. 1978. In March, I asked how things are for her now in the spirit world. She replied, they are good. This next message, which came through at the end of the recording, on the morning of May 4th, probably saved my husband's life. After hearing it on tape playback, I urged Charlie to see the doctor before going to work. Since he had not been feeling well, he agreed with some reluctance to do this. Two hours later, at the doctor's office, an electrocardiogram showed that he was having a heart attack. He was rushed to the hospital by ambulance and eventually recovered. I feel most grateful to my friends on the other side, not only for speaking to me frequently, but for this precognitive warning, because without it, my husband might not be alive today. A clear male voice said, more sickness will come. just given my invitation for those on the other side to join me for recording. Someone tells me in a fast voice, now I'm about ready. Five counters later he adds, daytime, I'm ready. A minute later, you will hear me ask if I do have friends here. A female voice answers in an even rhythm. I'd say you do. And this is followed immediately with, now, ready. And now, please tell me if I do have friends with me. Thank you. Someone tells me one morning in a fast, accented voice, you are my friend. These next two messages are interesting. My son slams the door, and a female voice asks, what could that be? Bob then slams the door a second time, and another voice comes in, this time a male voice, and asks the same question. What could that be? level in the spirit world. Someone replies, Talavinia. 
Please tell me the name of the lowest level in the spirit world. Thank you. One day, in answer to my question, someone replies, we're missing the thought. In the recording following the message, we're missing the thought. I tell them that I will try to put my mind on the question, and perhaps they can pick it up from me telepathically. Someone replies again, we're missing the thought. And a moment later, a loud, clear voice comes through and says, that is working. Thank <laughs> you.